In this video, we're going to go over the triangle sum theorem. So the interior angles of a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. So again, the angles on the inside or interior of a triangle, those always add up to 180. So we're going to use that theorem to help us solve for some angles of triangles. So here in example one, they want us to find the measure of angle T, this one right here. So we know that the three angles together, 25 plus 35, I'm gonna use an X here since I don't know T, are gonna add up to 180. So I can add 25 plus 35, that'll give me 60. And if I wanna get the answer for the missing angle, I will just subtract that from 180. Now you'll notice the way I'm doing it is algebraic just because I want us constantly practicing that way when we do algebra problems later, it's easier. But all you're doing is adding 35 plus 25 and then subtracting it from 180. So the measure of angle T here would be 120 degrees. In example two, you might want us to find the missing angle measures. So we have angle one, two, and three. So if you look at the first triangle on the left, we know that these three are gonna add to 180. So I can add 90 plus 58. That gives me 148. And then if I subtract that from 180, I get 32 degrees. That's gonna be the measure of angle one. Now, we know that angle one and angle two, we learned before, are vertical angles. And we know vertical angles are congruent. So angle two is also gonna be 32 degrees. Again, that's because vertical angles are congruent. Now for angle three, we know that together those three will add up to 180. So if I add 32 and 108, I get 140. I can subtract that from 180 and I get 40 degrees for the measure of angle three. I wanna write my answer nice and neat, so the measure of angle one is 32 degrees, measure of angle two is also 32 degrees, and measure of angle three was 40 degrees. Here we're gonna try some more problems using what we learned. So here in this next picture, we notice this angle and this angle are marked congruent. So that means this angle here is also 30 degrees and we know all three together add up to 180. So we could add 30 plus 30, that gives me 60. And if I subtract 180 minus 60, I get 120. So the measure of angle one is gonna equal 120 degrees. In question two, Again, we know that the three angles of a triangle add to 180. So here, this is a 90 degree angle. So if I do 90 plus 30, I get 120. If I subtract that from 180, I get 60. So angle two is 60 degrees. Up here, this would also be a right angle because they form a straight line. So we would have 90 plus 60 which is 150, and when we subtract that from 180, we get 30 degrees for angle one. So here, measure of angle one was 30 degrees, measure of angle two, 60 degrees. In our next um, image, we know that here, we have a 90 degree angle. Here we have 30, so I'm gonna add those together. That gives me 120. If I subtract that from 180, I get 60. That's gonna be the measure of angle two. And if you look carefully here, they show that angle two and angle one together make a right angle. We know that right angles are 90 degrees. So to get angle one, we could do 90 degrees minus 60, and that would give us 30 degrees for angle one. Because again, together those two add up to 90. So measure of angle one is 30, measure of angle two is 60 degrees. In our next picture, let's start with angle one. So we have 66 and 58, I'm gonna add those together. 
And we know the three angles of a triangle add to 180. So now if I do 180 minus 124, I get 56 for angle 1. Angle 2 is vertical to that, so it's also going to be 56 degrees. So remember, anytime you see vertical angles, they're congruent. And then now for the right side, I can add 56 and 50 together. That gives me 106. If I subtract that from 180, I get 74 for the measure of angle 3. So measure of angle 1 was 56 degrees. Measure of angle 2 was also 56 degrees. And measure of angle 3 is 74 degrees. So just to summarize, the interior angles of a triangle add up to 180. Remember, if you see vertical angles, they're congruent. If you see a right angle, that means the angles that make up the right angle add up to 90. Um, if you see a straight line, two angles on a straight line add up to 180.